Okay, so in this lesson, we are going to go in and make some tools so that we can make adjustments with this really quickly. So I'm going to go back into this node, and it's a little chaotic, but no deal. Um, what I'm going to do is start off by creating a null node. And what we're going to do is start feeding in attributes into this null node. So let's call this our um, master control. And um, maybe the first thing that we want to adjust is the height of the Tiki um, hut. So here we can go into the properties and we can do edit uh, parameter interface. So um, here I'm just going to turn off show individual or not show but I want to hide. Uh, can we delete these? I just don't want them in here. Make them invisible. There we go. And click invisible. And I'm going to start off with a float value. Um, here we have the name and the label. These are the two that we're going to start off adjusting. Um, so with the name, um, this is going to be the name that the code accesses. Um, so I'm going to call this um, Tiki Height, and I'm not going to add any spaces here, but um, in this for the label, I can um, label it however I want. Um, I can name it Tiki Height with a space if I wanted to, but with the name, um, try not to keep any um, spaces at all, and the label is what the user actually sees. So I'm going to accept that. And then here on the height, we have the height channel here. It's at about 5.5. .5, so I'm going to change this value at 5.5 .5 just to start off with. Um, I'm going to copy that parameter. And here in this height, I'm going to paste copied relative reference. Ooh, that's not right. I put it in the radius. Sorry. I want that in the height. So I just undid that and I'm going to paste copied relative reference. And there we go. So now with this slider, we can actually go in and um, increase or decrease the height. So that works out really well for us. Um, and everything else moves along with it. So maybe in here we can add another attribute that we want to adjust and it's going to be another float value. Floats just mean that there are decimal point values so they're not whole numbers they are floating point values so like how we did 5.5 um, or currently it's 5.16 gives us the ability to go um, in between numbers. So I'm going to do tiki Uh, let's do it all one word again. Tiki width, and then I will call this Tiki width except, and then um, on that one we were looking at the master column for all of this, and that was based off of the x value here. So we're at 2, so I'm going to set the default value here at 2. And I am going to copy um, that parameter. And then in our master column here, I am going to right click and paste copied relative reference. There we go. So now here we can make it really thin or really um, wide and that will adjust our height for us. So it gives us the ability to kind of create different variations 
and if we go here into the object mode and let's look at the grass and we can say because it's all procedural it actually is going to take that information and recalculate it out for us in this um, scene here so um, that is really nice for us um, it might need a little bit of tweaking we can see as we go bigger it's not completely matching but um, we can always tweak that number if we needed to it gives us most of the way there um, and most of the way on the other direction too um, right now we can create the width um, but with the width it's going to separate so we can actually look at changing this value and it's going to separate the um, roof and maybe we think that's okay and we can adjust that but um, I'm not going to do it for this current one um, we could kind of figure out what it would be if we adjusted the width and then we ran the Pythagorean theorem because these are basically um, a triangle here so we can figure out what the height is for here and the width here is here, here. so a squared plus b squared equals c squared so we can adjust the length and be able to kind of reposition it and whatnot um, but that's a little bit more than what I want to do for this project I just want to do it kind of like a little simple one where I can um, adjust it a little bit going back and forth maybe create a little bit smaller one a little bit wider whatnot it just gives us more um, to play with so I hope you enjoyed Ooh, that's a little bit wide isn't it let's get two two that's fine um, I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial and um, like subscribe share